Hey you guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to share your Google Calendars. I'm going to be showing you how to do this publicly and then also with um, specific people. I'll be showing you guys how to do this on your MacBook or computer, so have this device on hand so that way you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So the first thing you'll want to do is launch your Google Calendar um, and sign in. To do this, you can just visit calendar.google.com and it's going to bring you right to your Google Calendar. If you're not signed in already, you'll sign in. Um, and then once you're signed in, we can start the next steps. So the first way I'm going to be going over is how to make your Google Calendar public. So on the left hand side of the screen, you'll find the My Calendars right here. And below that, you'll find the cal um, you'll find your calendars and you'll you're going to select the one that you'd like to share and make public just by hovering your mouse over this calendar and then selecting the three dots on the right hand side. And then we're going to select settings and sharing. It's going to bring up a bunch of different information about this calendar and the settings on it. And then on the left hand side of the screen, we're going to find um, settings for my calendars. And then beneath this, we have the access permissions for events. We're going to select this. It's just going to bring us down to this section here. And then we're going to find the make available to public option right here. And all we're going to do is check mark this box. It's going to give us a warning, just kind of explaining what's going to happen by making our calendar public. It's going to make all the events visible to the world, including um, via Google search. And if we are sure that we want to make this public, we're just going to select OK. And then once this has been made public, what we can do is select this get a shareable link option here and it's just going to give us that URL to copy. And once we have that link copied, we can paste it and send it to anyone that we want. Now, if at any point you wanted to make this calendar private again, all you would do is unselect this box. Um, and now that calendar is back to private. All of your settings are going to be automatically saved so that you don't have to go down and save it anywhere. As soon as you make a change, it's going to be saved for you. Hey you guys, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. These basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue to create content for you guys. Thanks so much and let's get back to the video. Now, if you didn't want to make your calendar public to everybody, there is a way to share it with specific people. You want to have your Google Calendar launched again and signed into. Um, like I said before, you'll just go to the URL calendar.google.com um, and sign in. Once again, we're going to go over to the left hand side to my calendars. We'll hover our mouse over the calendar we'd like to share and then select those three dots on the right hand side and go back into settings and sharing. Only this time on the left hand side, we're going to go into share with specific people or groups. We're going to select this and then we're going to select this plus symbol, add people and groups here. And it's just going to let us add people um, via email. I can select the person or people that I want to share it with. And then we want to define the user's permissions. So under permissions here, there is going to be a little arrow and we can select exactly what we want this person to be able to access and see. So we can select see only free or busy. They can see all the event details. They can even make changes to the events. Um, make changes and manage sharing as well. So depending on who it is you're sending it to and what you want them to be able to access, you'll just select it here. And once that's ready, you'll just hit send. And now this Google Calendar is going to be sent to this specific person and or group um, with the permissions that you have selected for them. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found all of these steps helpful. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.